if I lift it, if you clear that out. What I'm holding. Wow. Okay. When did the date from? So this is early 15th century, I think. Is what I read. Mm. So it's pretty early. So where, where, where would you start with that? I do a bit of testing to see solubilities and seeing, you know, A, dirt. Yeah, because it is filthy, well, it's isn't it? Taking a dirt layer off, which you can't do until everything's stabilised anyway. Yeah. But testing a stable area to begin with, testing to take the dirt layers off, which then enables you to clean the discoloured varnish layers um, off with a solvent solution. And a test is obviously a solution that doesn't affect the original paint layer. Assuming this is something like tempera, if it's dating from that early, it will be wet. Right. So it should be pretty stable. Yeah. Touch wood. Um, and then following from that, working out obviously areas that are obviously not original, but then essentially are there any other areas that are unoriginal? Yeah. And bringing back, if needed, bringing back some of these. Or, in fact, leaving them in place but just adjusting the retouching, yeah. which is probably the better way to go. There's no point removing, no. Um, particularly if they're just, you know, they're pretty flush. They could be blended the better, though, couldn't they? They, just, they can just be brought back, you know. We've yeah. seen how that's saturated quite well. Yeah. That just needs a bit more drone in it, really. The fill is reasonable for these sorts of surfaces, as opposed to these where, you know, your fills have to be good for that sort of a painting. Um be able to read the painting again and not see the filled areas, whereas these mm. sorts of surfaces are so they're sort of accepted because they're so old and they've never been flat in a way. Um, they're a bit more forgiving in the sense that you can have a fill that can, as long as it just fills that void, as long as you just retouch over the top of it. People, people are people are used to reading these sorts of surfaces. And this 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 is a softwood panel as opposed to that being canvas and the other painting that we looked at being on hardwood. Yeah. Yeah. Is that does that present any more difficulties? Because it's obviously been pretty um pretty tasty for borers well, over, over, over its life. Is, yeah, is that and, and again just in fluctuate, you know, what it's how it's dealt with the environment. I mean the main we've only got the one main crack here. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of expecting there to be two pieces, but it's not and that probably would benefit. Started here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's a bit of one coming up here. Yeah. That would benefit with being. It would benefit me, I feel that, wouldn't it? Um, that's a bit distracting. Yeah. Structurally, I probably. Cracky, it's pine, isn't it? It's steel. Yeah. 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 I mean, being. That's brave. Oh, what's this? There's a short mark there. What's that? Yeah. I mean, structurally, it's probably. Settled, yeah. Um, I mean, they're they're living, breathing beasts, really. So they, but if it's going to the environment, we know it, it's going to. Yeah, it's going to be fifth, fifty R H, and it's just going to yeah. live its life out in nice, healthy conditions. Yeah. I think. So I'm not going to. I wouldn't mess around with you know some people that argue for taking bracing off and yeah. re, you know cradling and all sorts of things. I think it's done. It's 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 held together. Yeah. I'm not seeing any. It's pretty solid, isn't it? Movement. Apart from the, apart from the border apart damage. From the, these issues here, this needs. It look, it looks like the stretch is actually more affected than the actual baseboard, which is good. I mean, it's got a bit of effect in, mm. but the actual stretcher is is very. Yeah. Um, I'd be looking at probably feeding adhesive into here just to stay because yeah. this is just asking to crumble. Probably feeding adhesive into here. Yeah. Um. And that would be a water-based adhesive again. That yeah, I'd probably. I mean, something like that. I'd probably be inclined to do something along the lines of a, a PVA, like a watered-down PVA, yeah, and I'd or PVA, yeah. just to get some flex. You want flexible in the wood because yeah, yeah, the wood yeah, is yeah, still yeah. doing its breathing. Yeah. Um, I'd be inclined to sort of just flood it back with flood that. a bit of adhesive, and just to, it's basically just to stabilise loose. Yeah. Thin those thin walls. And that's and that's and that tiles, that's right. a sort of ba a sort of flexible sort of glue like stuff, isn't it? Like a mm. plasticized sort of adhesive, so it'll it'll give it give a little bit. It rather. gives exactly. If you yeah. put something solid and hard in there, it's used it's to crack your tensions. Yeah, it doesn't need. It just wants something that's in there to stop those. Yeah, it's basically just to stop 
where those tunnels run down here, we've just got really thin yeah. slivers of walls. You can see a tiny little yeah, tiny bit there. You just want something in those that just yeah. they're just bonded together without being grasped together, sort of thing. Um, yeah, and I've been trying to fill this crack just because it. So you haven't seen this before. So this is this has been added to the list, I think, because we selected it for display in the gallery. How many hours is something like that going to take? It's difficult to yeah. guess, isn't it? I mean, you're looking at 30... 30 hours or so. 30-ish. Yeah. But at the end of that, we're going to have a, a more stable, early icon. Yeah. Suitable for display. I mean, and there's good. a level of... There's a level of how far you can go as well there, there you can with some of these things you can do you know just stabilization and just sort of lightly bringing things back without necessarily maybe without taking any varnish off or something so you could just do stabilization and a clean mm. clean of dirt and reintegration of losses and fills and things without doing a full intense sort of clean so yeah 